Welcome to the Immunolife series. I'm Dr. Dean Mitchell. I'm a clinical immunologist and a holistic medical doctor. My credentials, uh, I'm an assistant clinical professor at Turo Medical College of Osteopathic Medicine and I have the privilege of teaching second year students about immune diseases. But enough about me. The video is about my upcoming book, Immunolife. And the book and this video series is all about what you can do to strengthen your own immune system naturally and with proven scientific methods. Now, the topics in the book are going to start with something called your immuno score. This is a validated questionnaire that's going to ask specific questions uh, about your age, your weight, uh, your exposure to infections, medications you're taking. We're going to go more in depth about that, that all affect your risk of infectious disease, autoimmune disease, and even cancers. You know, what's funny is that when I was doing research for the book, we found out that scientifically, women are less likely to get infections than are men. Sorry guys, but it's, it's a true stated fact. Uh, and this probably has to do related to the estrogen that women produce. So we're gonna figure out ways to help men and women strengthen their immune system. I also will be discussing in the book something called immunotesting, where a new type of lab tests that are used that can help determine are you more at risk for a certain type of infection uh, and how your body reacts to inflammation. The other topics are going to be immunoinfections, um, and this is something that patients are constantly being exposed to, whether it's the flu virus. We also discuss about Epstein-Barr virus, and we'll talk about Lyme disease. All of these different infections that you're constantly hearing about or being uh, exposed to, how do you improve your immunity? I'm also going to be discussing a chapter called immunomedications. Uh, unfortunately, so many common medications that people take, whether it's antibiotics, whether it's acid blockers like Nexium or Prilosec, um, or even the new biologic medications that are being used for arthritis and uh, for inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's, affect your immunity and you need to know how to protect yourself. I'll also be talking in one of the videos about immunosurgery. There are certain surgeries that make your immune system lower and put you more at risk for infections. We'll also teach you how to prepare like an athlete for a surgery, so this way you're not only strong going in, but you recover even faster. And we'll also discuss something, a new concept called the immune signature, which tells how your uh, lab markers can determine whether you're gonna recover quicker from, let's say, hip surgery. Uh, the other uh, topic we're going to talk about is immunoenvironment, and this involves the pollutants you're exposed to, it involves the toxins that you may be exposed to in your water, and also, of course, allergies, and what you can do to minimize your exposure and also strengthen your immune system. Um, I also will discuss something called immunovaccinations, which is really important. I mean, there's been so much controversy about vaccinations, but vaccinations can be so important if done right in preventing severe infections and also even in preventing cancer. And finally, the last part of the Immunolife series will be the Immunolife program. And that's going to involve specific diets, about the foods you should eat, the supplements you should take, the right type of exercising to improve your immunity, and especially breathing exercises. We'll also go into sleep, We'll go into something called touch and smell, which are sometimes ignored and not thought to be important to the immune system, but they are. And finally, one of the last part, which I consider very important, is spirituality and how that helps strengthen your immune system. So I hope you'll join us on this Immunolife series, and um, please reach out to us on Facebook with any questions or comments that you have. Thank you so much.